Today, I just want to apply my makeup, talk about, I don't know what, because I don't have a game plan. I just want to talk, kind of like tell you guys what in the world has been going on these past few days. So it's kind of like a life update. Let me do my makeup and try to create something cute. I'm in between filming my AIA Beauty Bundle. This one go up first, and then you'll see the AIA Beauty Bundle. So of course, you're going to see this, and my hair is not like done done quite yet. You will see it done at the end of the video. I'm just filming two videos at once today. I took Saturday off because I actually worked Friday on my birthday, and I was just like, you know what? Just take a day off do nothing lay in bed and watch movies and that is what I did all right so let's just like get to it I am gonna like apply the product I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit but I am gonna apply product and it's not necessarily a tutorial but you guys will get the picture because my phrasing is always the same and you'll see like a cute fun look created today by the way I'm I'm getting there right I think this is like super homey really cute but still studio ish I'm gonna prime my skin with the rodeo glass primer girl let me tell you cam ended up getting like this weird cold which she's fine now thank god like she shook her fever within the first two days and then after that it was just kind of like trying to get her to sleep she was uncomfortable whatever she's again it's only been a few days but you know you don't sleep for a long period of time you kind of get used to that and you kind of miss sleeping when you finally get back to sleeping because the children are sleeping the entire night you embrace that you love that you get used to that and then you go two days three days without properly sleeping and then you're like what the hell's going on that's me and when i say i wasn't sleeping i mean homegirl had i have a hair i have a hair and when i mean girl was sick girl was sick my charlotte tilbury foundation is in seven neutral she would lay down and be sleeping but she couldn't breathe through her nose like we were doing nebulizer machine and everything she couldn't breathe through her nose so she would start choking in between and we had to like prop her up and stuff and it was just not a fun few days so honestly for my birthday all we did was just nothing i worked and then that was it i think i filmed that video in like 30 minutes because it was a quick something and then i went right back to bed and by the way thank you to all of you guys who are so amazing and sent over birthday wishes whether it was here on my community page in the comment section of my videos on on instagram so many dms i got through as many as i could i said as many thank yous as i could but God, it was a lot i really appreciate you guys Anne and Rhonda are amazing. Lisa, amazing. Shouted me out and everything. Like, y'all didn't really have to do that. So, yeah, for my birthday, we really didn't do much. Because I felt like I didn't want, you know, in that moment, Cam was doing so much better with her congestion and everything. Like, I was like, look, we sacrificed, like, four nights of not sleeping. Cam is so much better. Let's just wait till she gets really, really good. So we didn't do anything for my birthday. We had a special delivery from my sister, which was really kind. You know, my sister was here on vacation. She went home. And then all of a sudden, I get this package from Edible Arrangements. And she sent me, like, a whole platter of chocolate-covered fruit. And before I could even get to it, my girl started fighting over it. Item Beauty Concealer in 2.30. And I know, you're wondering, wait, what do you mean? You're so dramatic. What do you mean your girls started fighting? Ty is eight and a half and Cam is one. Mm-hmm. They, I was, I was shocked. I, I was shocked. I was able to get the like ending of their little fight and i posted it on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, go follow me because you missed out on that one. But cam trying to get to it ty pushing her away protecting it like it's hers and then you know cam's pushing ty and then ty had her by the arms and just kind of like rolled her and then because cam realized wait she's bigger than me i'm gonna lose cam starts crying and then looks at her and pointed at her and it, it was just a thing it was, I, I i i i had to put them away i said you guys are fighting over something that's not even yours but we will be doing something eventually i think maybe in in the upcoming week or the weekend since Cam is so much better, we'll probably go out to eat or something. That is what we did for my birthday. So pretty much nothing, but it is what it is. While my nieces were here, I didn't really do a lot of vlogging or anything, honestly. Um, I didn't see the point in a vlogging since I owe you guys. I don't know how many vlogs at this point. So I feel like I might just work on a 
you know, portions of it. Before going on vacation, we were vlogging the bees and all of that, and I promised you guys it would go up, but honestly, I'm the kind of person that will bite off more than I can chew, and then I try to like overdo it, and I overexert myself. So I was like, no, no, I'm gonna get it done. Even if I go to sleep at like three o'clock in the morning, and then I would fall asleep with my laptop on my lap because I was so exhausted from packing and prepping and all of that to go on vacation. So then the vlog never actually went up. I've been debating like I can totally just edit that but it'll make sense for sure like it's going to make sense but it's like there's no outro so I can leave it at it to be continued or watch next part I, I'm not sure I'm gonna make that happen though and hopefully put it up between today and tomorrow again I bit way more than I could chew in that moment this is my Merit Beauty um, uh, perfecting complexion stick in sepia and I think that in part of me being overwhelmed is because I like what I do I like my work and I also love building great relationships with brands so like literally right before I was going away on vacation I had brands reach out and go hey we're looking for like some content are you able to kind of like throw something together for us and i'm like sure and i just kept saying yes 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 and it's not a bad thing because you know i've gotten opportunities from making myself available but then 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 i got myself into this situation where i was all over the place and i haven't been able to kind of like release a vlog but i definitely have vacation footage that i can put together and release i have the bee situation so i have i have stuff that i can put together no worries i promise you we're getting back to vlogging you guys were liking the whole vlog thing i enjoyed it a lot too i felt like i was bringing you guys into my world i don't know why i'm cream contouring or even bronzing with this i should have just dampened the sponge and called it a day it would make my life so much easier why am i doing this i don't know why did i decide to apply contour on my nose i don't know because i'd never contour my nose like that unless i'm doing you know an event special occasion which i'm not i'm so special okay for blush i'm gonna use sunkissed by nude sticks what else you know what i was thinking recently actually i'm gonna do my brows i'm gonna use the brow trio uh pomade in dark brown so let me kind of like vent with you guys fairly quickly because juan and i juan is my husband if you're new to the channel so I've made friends, but I've also found throughout the years that when I make a friend, I give my all 150%. And oftentimes, you know, it's not being reciprocated from the other end. And so I am taken advantage of. It's a fact. And unfortunately, I don't see it, even though people will tell me, you know, like, this is happening. This does not make sense. X, Y, and Z you need to get away from this individual or whatever you know and i don't see it until i see it if that makes sense and i remember i was so young i really wanted a friend like the ones that you would see on tv where everything is perfect and she's like the sister for th that you just grew up with except she's not really your sister but she's your ride or die you know i remember my mom and my husband would tell me you know something doesn't add up or this doesn't make sense or like you know you're giving way too much of yourself and this individual is just not seeing it and appreciating it's just take 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 with no give and this is unfair to you you're like an amazing friend blah 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 and so, long story short, I eventually was taken advantage of and I cut it off. The kicker is you would think that as you get older, you learn your lesson. And it's sad, you know, because the only real, true, best, best friend that I can say I've had, that it's a long-term relationship, is my husband. And that's because we started off as friends, then best friends, then we started dating, and we are where we are now, you know, 17 years later. It's sad that nowadays you can't trust that people are going to be real with you and be real friends with you. It's just, it's unfortunate. It's just sad that nowadays we just can't go ahead and trust people off the bat, you know? Brow Bar by Rima's in medium. This is like their brow concealer. And with Thai being in school, you kind of start to see the little things happening and you're like, oh my God, does it start this young? I didn't realize. Nowadays, everything is starting off so young. And Ty comes home and says, hey, such and such said this to me and it wasn't very nice. And I'm like, I just don't understand how people can have so much hate in their heart 
and envy. And I know, we all go through our moments where we're like in a negative space. Lord knows I've been there, but I was never actually mean for no reason. I always had my reasons for cutting people off or my reasons for putting people in their place. I mean, think about it. You know, the beauty community here on YouTube was this place that everyone wanted to be a part of. And the friendships that it seemed that people were creating were everything, in my opinion. And I was like, wow, like, I want to have a friendship like that. And then when, you know, the whole drama blew up a few years ago, it was kind of like, maybe I don't want to be a part of it like that. Maybe I'm better off being alone and not making, like, tons of friends on social media because... It is definitely a really scary place when you really look at it. I'm gonna use my Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas in medium. I knew people were mean and catty behind the scenes. I've talked to a few people on social media about this and it's funny because they've had their own experience. But I remember when I had like 100 subscribers on YouTube. People with 500 subscribers would talk down to me. We're not very nice, but they wanted to collab, which was weird because you want to collab with me, but then you're telling me what to do like you're my boss and you're telling me what well, I have more subscribers than you do. And I'm like, it's not very nice, you know? To top that off, these individuals were so much older than me. I am going to play around with the Defiance uh, palette by Carmela Cosmetics because I really, really like it and I haven't used her in a while. So I'm going to dip into Mystique and I'm going to mix desire into it i remember people were just being so mean and then when i hit like i think five or eight hundred subscribers even people with a thousand subscribers really thought that they were like patrick star jeffree star candy johnson Jaclyn Hill, like their behavior was really out there. I, I, I didn't understand it, you know? And I was just like, why are they acting this way? I ended up in a situation where I had to block a ton of people and I had to put people in their place. And I was trying to play nice because there was nothing like having people that related to creating videos, talking to the camera, because it's definitely a weird thing. But the beauty community, even the smallest at that time, I don't know what it's like now, and I don't wanna like sit here and like call people out on stuff that, you know, it's like so long ago. I mean, we're looking at what, six years ago? But being fair, even the smallest channels at the time were not being very nice. And they thought they had it all figured out and they talked down to you and, it was kind of like we're gonna collab and i will follow your stuff if you follow me and if you like my stuff i will like yours like it's support for support you know and i'm like but i don't do the support for support like i don't want to sit here and have to report that i watched your video and i hit the like and comment like that's not what i opened up a youtube channel for but well that's what we have to do in order to grow and i'm like but i can grow without doing that they always ended up in drama if we're collabing I feel like no one's the boss. We should all put our input and get creative together and then you release what you release and we call it a day. These people that didn't have that same mindset, it was like, this is what you're gonna do. This is how you're gonna do it. This is how your hair needs to be. This is what your backdrop needs to be like. You can't post before I do because it was my idea. So mine goes up first. You have to go watch it, like it, and like make sure that people are subscribing and then you have to shout everybody else out and shout me out. And then you gotta tag me too. And I'm like, who made you the boss? I get it. It was your idea, but you invited me into this collab. Who made you the boss? It was a thing. Okay, that's cute. I wanted to keep the eyes simple, kind of like do the most at the same time. Anyway, I'm so over venting about not having friends. And the sad part is I'm 36. So, um, you know, college phase and high school phase is pretty much over for me. I guess whatever friends I have now are the ones that I'm gonna have until I no longer have them and then that, that's kind of it. Okay, this is really pretty. And yes, I used one brush for the entire look because why not? I hope you guys get where I'm coming from with like all this chitter chatter or whatever. You know, I'm not depressed, I'm okay. I'm human, I can't help but think sometimes. And this is what happens when I have downtime and I'm not working and I get to thinking. My brain goes all over the place. And then when I do get a lot of downtime, and my brain goes all over the place, I get sad. I know I'm not the only one, right? Do you get sad when you start to thinking? So this palette has the black, which I love. I'm gonna mix the black and Empower together to create like a really, really dark brown. And I am going to drag that out here just to deepen this area a little bit. And then on the under portion of the eye. See, so it's not like a straight up black, but it's not brown either. And then I'm gonna create a faux wing. And then diffuse that a little bit. 
And I know, sometimes you get some fallout. I'll go in with my powder and this little powder puff, which is amazing. I'll dip into the colors I used initially, drag some on the back of my hand, and then I will just kind of do one of these to kind of reshape and sharpen that area without overdoing it or ruining what we already applied. I also got sad when my sister left because it was like having that friend that you've always known, you know? And yeah, me and my sister, like this is the one that we would always fight growing up. Always, always. Even as adults, we would always have disagreements. But I think we've officially gotten to real adulthood where we can sit here, have a few drinks and laugh you know we've gotten to that point where we say whatever we're gonna say to one another and not everything needs to be taken seriously and on a negative note and so you know when she left i promise you i thought i was fine until i realized the house is just too quiet i don't have my you know breakfast coffee buddy anymore and it was just for me sad it was really sad we've called each other daily but we've like texted each other she was at the airport and i'm like the house is quiet i miss you and you know she said the same and it was just nice but it's weird what happens when we all grow up and mature and realize everyone can be themselves you know so it was sad okay i am going to curl my lashes and i'm gonna pop on mascara you know the mascara that i've really been enjoying there's a few okay il maquillage has two that i've really been loving and obviously the ofra one that's like the whole system i've been loving that one too but this one here oh my god the 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 bfc bfc i still have the box the beauty for certain this one's really really nice so i'm gonna like curl my lashes hold on I know, my brain is everywhere. It's like, girl, you were talking about camp, and you were talking about, uh, and then you were talking about being lonely, and then you were talking about your birthday, and then you were, <sighs> that's my brain, guys. To this day, I question how Juan still gets me. And I do it all the time. It's literally like, I will sit here and talk about what, what, like, what do you have a taste for? Let's, let's make that for dinner. And then we go from that to like, hey, did you like pick a movie? And then we go from talking about dinner and then picking a movie to like, did you identify the kind of boat you want to buy? Like, I, I, I am everywhere. And then he's like, can we finish one conversation before we jump into like the four different ones that you have in the top of your mind at the same time? And I can see where some people will find that irritating, but I don't because I don't take myself too seriously. And at the end of the day, if I'm sitting here having a conversation with you guys, like my girlfriends, we're not talking about just one topic for hours. We're talking about a million things all at the same time. I mean, look at this mascara. Am I right? It's so pretty. The thing about it is I've been, since mine have, my lashes have gotten pretty long. I've been getting mascara on my lids. So I eventually go back into the lid area to clean that up. Because now that my lashes are getting healthier and stronger and longer, that's become an issue. But it's not like an issue that's unfixable. So I instantly go in and remove whatever bits of mascara get onto my lashes and even at the bottom i don't know if you guys are able to like see it if the camera is like close enough to pick that up but i like i'm getting mascara on the bottom and it's not me being messy is that i've been applying the ofra serum like their lash system on the bottom too because i wanted my bottom lashes to look like i had extensions on whenever i applied my mascara and my bottom lashes have always been really healthy and full that system has been doing the most for my lashes that's definitely a difference that i've noticed it just there's there's a lot more going on at the bottom now all right let me kind of like remove whatever mascara i ended up getting on the top and all i do is whatever brush i used on my crease i will kind of rub it back and forth then it just creates like this super gradient and easy removal without you ruining your eyeshadow completely i'm gonna leave the bottom alone because it doesn't look awful okay and now we have to go in with a lippy which i'm gonna use one of the urban decay ones i've used the purple i've used the red on camera you guys thought it was beautiful i was not sure what the nudie shade was gonna look like on me and it looks really good to the point that my husband was like oh i like that one on you and i told them they're kiss proof lippies which is great so i'm gonna apply a lip liner i am gonna go in with my gerard cosmetics in share oh my god i forgot to say okay i'm switching up the subject again forgot to tell you guys so i know cam is only one but i think i'm ready to work with her on the next step the next phase i've started weaning her off of the pacifier hasn't been easy but i've started weaning her off of the passy and i am starting potty training this is the nude shade that i'm gonna use on my lips this is text me 
This is the new 16 hour long wear lippies by Urban Decay Cosmetics. They did send me three so that I can play around with and try in PR. They're amazing. I love them, okay? But anyway, so yeah. When it comes to the pacifier, she's been able to last, Cam has been able to last a day like the full day ever since she wakes up i take it away and she doesn't ask for it she doesn't look for it but going to sleep is where there's an issue when she's going to sleep she knows she's missing it so we're weaning her off of the pacifier and when it comes to potty training i've taken her to the bathroom a few times she hasn't been successful at using it each time but she's done pretty well there's been a few times that she's used it and then we encourage her and go yay you did it she's been good so the next step is i'm gonna get her some pull-ups so that she'll feel the difference between a regular diaper and the pull-ups throughout the day. Um, that's what I did with Ty. Okay, now here is the makeup. The thing about this lippy is if you apply a really good amount, which is perfectly fine, it doesn't make any difference. The only thing is you do have to give it a few more seconds for it to fully dry. Otherwise, it's gonna start getting on your teeth and stuff. I only applied a very light amount, and as you can see, you get full opacity, and it's gonna stay nice and glossy and like, this whole time which is awesome so i'm gonna move along i'm gonna do my hair i have the other uh aaa beauty bundle products to try and all that stuff i'm gonna do that off of this video you'll see it featured in the other one and then i'll be back to say my goodbyes but i'll be looking real real cute with my hair and stuff so i'll be right back okay so i finished finally i feel really good because when i started i was feeling kind of poo poo because i was so tired but talking to you guys kind of venting and then i was able to kind of give my hair some body i don't know and i smell good because the products smell really really good so i feel so much better now if you guys want to see like what tool i used for my hair and how like i kind of like did this um make sure to check out that video it goes up next and yeah, thank you for being an ear to listen. I know, no one was talking back to me, but I will read the comments and we will be chiming in down below as per usual. And you guys are like the best and super helpful with your advice and all that stuff. So I'm really, really grateful. Thank you so, 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 so much. Um, and what else was I gonna tell you guys? Okay, like see, you, did you see how everything changes once my hair is done and I feel like I'm me, you know? I feel cute. Everything changes. And for those of you who are new to my channel, girl, if you last this long, I love you. You. so thank you so much for staying like this far in to the video i don't have these chatty like get ready with me's very often but when i do people get an opportunity to kind of like see what's in my head it's an unstructured video where i just get to like talk to you guys like y'all are my friends sitting in front of me while i'm doing my makeup or like we're like couch talking while i'm drinking my coffee so i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video do not forget i do have a giveaway that's live girl it's not gonna be open forever so you might want to go check that out i'm gonna link it down below for you guys make sure you submit your entry one entry is more than enough if you submit five six seven entries it's not going to give you any extra brownie points i don't like doing it that way because it's unfair not everyone has ev like all the time in the world to submit extra entries you do not have to tag people or anything like that and yes this giveaway is strictly for youtube only so it's just a way for me to say thank you to you guys um for all the love all the support 50k and all that stuff and yeah I think that's it, me, huh? I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for all your love and support. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.